please. Thank you so much, Jay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Right. Hi, good evening once again to all of you, the members who have joined so far. And it's a really pleasant evening, and we are really happy to see you in this session. So, okay, let us start our discussion and make this session as an interactivity session. Okay. So, okay, let me start from my end first. Yes. For what purpose we have connected to this meeting? That's the first question. It's a point of understanding what is the concept of HTML. So to know what is HTML now, what is the usage? How to implement? Let's discuss in step-by-step -step process. And before that, let me just introduce about me and hope you see my photo also here. And this is Ramakrishna having 12 years of experience in IT industry as a front end and back end developer. Apart with these, especially six plus years of experience in training department, which I even handled so many corporate trainings and as well regular trainings, especially with the front end technologies, like we can say, how you can create an application from scratch to end of that application we will discuss clearly what is that scratch what is that end also so coming to the point yes if you observe here agenda of html webinar there are four points listed out here html introduction elements and attributes and its importance in html with these how you are going to create a simple page where that page can have a sample table design and form in this session especially yes, sir. Yes, for yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, i actually your screen here uh, not as well can you please uh, uh, share your screen with full screen is it, is, is it not visible to all of you okay it is one, only half screen one second sorry for that inconvenience yeah let me let me just reshare once again. Now, could you please able to? Yeah, no, it is okay. Right, great. Thank you so much for giving information. Right, yes. Now, okay. So, we are planning to discuss in this session especially a simple practical concept also not only a point of theoretical discussion first point let me just say what is a web development what is a client what is a server and in that how far that html is having a key role we'll discuss okay so you might have gone through a number of websites maybe your college websites as we are all familiar and we are very much interested while purchasing some products through online we can say flipkart amazon of course social networking websites like we can say facebook twitter so 70 n number of websites that you might have already gone through so far even further also and the first point, what you observe, any of you could able to answer when you open any website, what is the first you are going to observe? First point. Any guess from anyone, not only one. Let's take a participation from all the members. You can also chat. I will be even giving preference to chatting also. I will at the end of the session before closing the session. I will clear all your doubts who have raised that questions in the chatting also. So my question is, for example, if you have opened any website, then what will be the your first priority to that website? My answer will be appearance. Is it right? My answer will be an appearance. 
let me see in the chatting okay sign in or sign up yes that is also correct but sign in or sign up also should have some sample design right now so my statement is when it comes to irrespective of any page yes home page or about us page or contact us page or any page first point is a basic appearance if that website yes that is also correct exact answer fast opening the website if it is not opening you even not going to stay with that website even i am not going to stay with that website it's obviously because if it is taking too much time no one is interested to go with that website yes so here our concept is first point what are the answers that you are saying are all comes under the part of web development it's really appreciable to all the members who are giving the answers of course even expected answers from other people also yes exactly you i and look and feel now i am coming to the point web development what is a concept a simple statement i say in general statement i don't want to say something a technical words and make it a clumsy or confused oh my god this is too much of big statement of course we are unable to remember it it's not that just a general statement irrespective of any website or any web application which comprises of a basic page or a static page a simple page to complex page what is that simple page maybe see i am the one of the person i am very much interested to promote myself maybe you are the person to promote yourself to give some services to the clients then you have to design a simple page at least what is you and what are the what are the uh, services that you are providing something like this so when it comes to the concept of web application it comprises it consists of a basic basic or minimum static page to complex page it can have a database connectivity and so on so on that is a later point as of now in this session we are giving preference to understand why should we have to learn the concept of html what is the key role or priority of html in terms of web development yes i will be opening one a sample website in front of you right now itself we'll discuss based on that example itself okay so i'm just opening of course any question maybe today's news or i'm very much interested to know the gold rate that's general concept right or as any example maybe you have some suggestions here i'm planning to uh, go through for example okay i will just write here today's news for a time being today's news this is a keyword when you type or select any keyword you will be getting n number of items if you observe approximately 4 million 84 lakhs results in just 0 0.64 seconds and if you observe this page is having the website or domain name the title which is having something blue color and when you place a mouse over it is just hovering with underline and when you click on it it is taking you to that particular page i am just opening for timing one of the web page i directly landed into one of the page it's not exactly home page so irrespective of any page if you observe here a nice logo whereas in the right hand side the text box where user can type something else within the web page sorry within the website which it can search and give the results where the links where the navigation when you scroll the concept what they have planned to display to us or to give to us the information a nice information and that two three column layout and full column 
like this we can say a simple page but elegant page right now with the photos hyperlinks and whether the text the font each and everything will take care of this so my statement here is whatever we are seeing here maybe the logo that is image maybe the input element that is input element with a form where is a text with a link all the characters a text image video audio everything is given or is presented with the concept of html so simply i say whatever we are seeing in the page the text the image the link the audio or video any concept whatever we are seeing in the page is a part of html that is the key role or we can say the priority or importance of html if there is no html you are a back-end developer you are a great developer if you don't know how to present in front of the client a client is not your client a client is don't think that a client is something who given a project to you i am the client to this web page you are the client to this web page that is the meaning a client is nothing but who opens a particular page in the browser is coming under the client how it is opening i just search for something else and i got some results how i am getting these results these results are all coming from server which is saved under the hosting at this moment i don't want to mess up and i don't want to make it a too much of confuse or too much of discussions related to server so let's give preference and priority to the concept of html so hope you might have got a basic idea so far what is the concept or the usage or the importance of html so irrespective of any web page if we are opening we are seeing some headings some subheadings the text the links the images okay i'm just clicking for example usa today let us assume and i'm just opening it just redirected to page a very nice page which is having something a logo whereas a links where a heading subheading images everything is clearly and user is, if i am the person wants to know more about what this microsoft and so on so on say page i will be just clicking on it so redirecting from one page to another page is also can be created with the concept of html now yes we got a clarity the usage of html where it is implemented in terms of web applications maybe websites a simple website or complex website whatever it is right now now we'll see how to write a sample page in our session yes first point when you plan to display some sample content content means don't think only text it can be even a image it can be even a link it can be even a video it can be even a text box anything overall whatever we are seeing and to write the code we are commonly using visual studio code i don't say it is the it is now only one that we have to use but it is a commonly officially used it is an open source when you say the term or terminology open source it is simply we can say free to use or free to access that means we can download it for free and we can install it and the terminology open source it even given to softwares also maybe software of for example vlx i mean uh, vmware of course any software maybe any app that is where you can easily download without a payment free to access we can say that terminology open source and so we will discuss how to set up an environment also so don't worry don't uh, don't think that we are moving faster something like it is a session to get an idea the importance of html okay so i already just opened a sample folder which i have created here html webinar 
inside this i am now going to create a sample page of html and we'll write some sample code and we'll see some sample output how it works so now how to use this visual studio code in the left panel you can either create a new file or new folder also as of now i am just creating a new file our concept is creating sample content and every technology every part of content which we are planning to write a program or write a content will be having its own extension simply i say generally you are listening to audio or i mean music or you are watching video what is that extension for the video the extension for the video is mp4 the extension for an audio is mp3 right the extension for an image is jpg how and why because to run to execute that particular and to get something output accordingly it's simply we can say word document dot docx excel sheet dot xlesx in the same way to run our html file in the browser we have to specify dot html and i just created HD, create sample content dot html i am just using a simple scenario instead of writing total code of from scratch a simple snippet or shortcut html5 which is latest version we'll discuss each and every line also the first line doc type html gives information to the browser that you are using html5 version which is latest version then what about all these points if you observe as a point of here elements and attributes and its importance in html we are now discussing about that point so what is an element if you observe in this example this is a one para this is another para you are writing your resume right now or you might be writing some documentation para by para paragraphs so how to represent that paragraph in html to represent that paragraph for example i am just taking this sample content here itself taking a copy and i am planning to present inside the body why should we have to present inside the body because a content whatever we have planned to display in the active window in the browser that needs to be written inside the body element what is an element an element is a part of representation of your content okay i just created a simple with a shortcut html code inside this i am planning my con my interest is to display some sample content here and how to represent this one either you can click on go live in the bottom which you can see of course at your end it's not there don't worry i will let you know how to set up a go live when you install visual studio code then or else just in the html webinar we have created a file right click on it open with any of your browser for timing i'm just opening in the firefox itself see right a very simple i just able to see here not only i we are able to see here right now okay i am planning for timing as soon as the browser executes this file the content is displaying here okay if you observe here microsoft avoids paying taxes okay i am just going back immediately what you see here us news large latest news that means the title giving a clear picture to the user whether that user is in a correct page or not 
or else whether that user is planning to see exactly what user expected or not. So in the same way, for our document also, we are planning to understand what is the concept we are doing. So we are writing here in the title element, creating sample content. Now, just go to the browser and refresh. Right now, you are able to understand. Yes, the user can understand. OK, yes, this is what I am looking for. So I'm correct page. Now, OK, let me just copy any other content, not only one content and one paragraph. I'm just copying. And I will be even planning to write something heading also. So here, I'm writing other paragraph. So according to our concept, we are planning to display two paragraphs in our page. But if you observe everything showing something a lengthy and long paragraph, if you are the user, if I am the user, and we can able to maximum read the company which insists and max the two to three words or is okay, five to six words in general. But of as it's too much of lengthy, obviously we'll just skip off the right now. It's a general thought. So to make it a proper way of alignment, to make it a proper way of presentation, we are categorizing P. P stands for paragraph. It is also one of the elements. So I am just creating here two paragraphs. Now, by writing these two paragraphs, yes, it's breaking the flow so that that user can understand, OK, can read and take a breath after the second, first paragraph, again, second paragraph, like this. So here my statement is understanding learning the technology is different Imp implementation of content or presentation of content is totally different you have to think that you are the user to the website how that user will think when user comes to your website and user should stay more time as the number of seconds increasing the weightage of that page will be increased compared to all other websites. As a competition, see, when I searched here in the web, web page here in the very beginning, today's news, we got around 4 million 84 and so on a number of results. Among the total number of results, we are not going to go through all the results, right? Even we are not interested to go to the second page also. That too, in the first page also, we aren't going to show or we are not going to reach to the 10th. So how you can give a competition to other websites or web pages? Understanding the professional way of writing the code is also very important that we are going to discuss. It's not a point of only understanding HTML element paragraph, HTML element uh, H1. Okay. Let me even write H1. So what is that H1? While reading the textbooks, while reading the newspapers, you will be having headings, right? That how to write headings here. H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. So here, I am just creating, yes, let it be some sample content. I'm a sample heading. Creating sample content. Then let's check it out. Yes, very nice. We are able to see heading and two paragraphs so far. Yes. So far, we are done with the concept of what do you say? A sample content display. Now, for example, we are planning to list out a group of things. For example, let us assume as this is a session, the concept and group of items we are planning to display. I am planning to display where you can see in the Word document the list of items. The same way here, HTML.
introduction what you see here you can see here bullet point whereas elements and attributes so as the number of list of items that you are writing it is just displaying in bullet points because of you have given ul is nothing but an order list okay let's come into the other example we are planning to display how many participants joined and and uh, some topics wants to know that is a tabular format which helps you to understand a chronological or we can say a row and column wise so i'm just writing a table element where a table element can have a group of rows each row can have group of columns tr stands for table row inside this tr th is one of the column and that is representing table heading format so okay this is a concept of html and under this html webinar let's take an example the same concept what we are planning here we are planning to discuss a theory th stands for table heading td stands for table data the first concept we are saying that introduction let's see what happened so far what we have done html defaultly it is showing something a bold effect or strong effect under this introduction okay to get a border effect that is a line outline we are using an attribute what is an attribute an attribute is a characteristic to that element simply understand there is a pen ballpoint pen let us take it an example in that pen we have a refill if there is no refill there is no meaning or there is no usage of pen right now here i don't say every time attribute will take key role in terms of element if you observe here elements without attributes elements with attributes giving some special or we can say we giving some additional meaning or specification to represent what is that representation here we are planning to display a border or else an outline now observe right that you are able to see an outline first row heading second row introduction yes now i am planning one more row ed uh, let me say yes it did be elements and now like this that means you are planning under the main heading a group of items so there are different ways of content presentation one is some a lengthy paragraphs whereas a list of items with a short list of items second thing a proper way of for example um weekly wise schedule if you have planned to do or as monthly wise schedule or as you are you are planning tomorrow what are the schedules that you have 8 am 9 am 10 am that is a time slots how you can plan a table that can be help you to understand okay so apart with all these points yes we are planning to create a simple form designing also where user can interact with your application what is a form f o r m a form helps user so helps you to create in html where user can interact what is that means interactivity you you are filling up your username and password to log in into the facebook that means not only facebook in your gmail or you are searching for something else in google that is you are inputting so where user is in, interacting with the application in terms of inputting something else that can be done with the concept of a form here i am writing a simple form and i am writing an input element input 
what type of input you are planning to ask a group of characters for what purpose to enter the username okay what is the value let's see first i will explain clearly observe here there is an input element where you can click inside this and you can enter the characters what we have entered in john is considered as a value is considered as a value where it can be saved under the username as you have entered the group of characters right to represent the type of characters we have written here input type text that means if you are planning input type radio what is the radio selection whether you are interested to enter your username or not for example okay the name attribute input is an element the type the name the value these are all the attributes to the input elements and here the name something else accept the value value is the meaning of this statement is okay first let us see that output so no need to be get confused if you observe this is a text box where user can enter anything this is a radio button where user can just click on it so meaning i say different types of input elements that we are having i will be showing you even here a sample examples to get a clarity overall for example first okay html table when you are searching for something else in terms of understanding the concept just click on images first so that you can get a different different examples and you can understand okay this is an ex table example this is a table example with a group of rows and columns if you observe concept of row span call span okay okay in the same way form what is a form and how it can be group of input elements where user can enter username password if you just click on it you are able to see here gender only one among those can be selected drop downs these are all the points that we are going to learn and implement so far you are a person seeing as a client or end user and understanding or and entering the data but as you are now going to start your career as a developer or programmer you are going to start of learning in building that application step by step okay so this is the concept what we have planned how to start with the html sample content displaying additionally list of items a simple table form designing and a form representation okay so yes and now i will come to your questions whatever we have we'll just i request you to please take participation those who have questions kindly please come forward and so far whatever we have discussed kindly please give a reply everyone have you understood the concept what we have discussed in this and what are the questions you please just list it out immediately okay i will not hurry up i am just giving an answer i am ready to give an answer for all your questions please please come forward from your end first point have you understood all the members the things what we have discussed so far please reply i am expecting the reply from your end so that you will be an end enhancement for me also and for the encouragement also how to insert the data in html if you observe here in this example it's not a point of inserting the data it's a point of what you are writing in the body element especially 
in the body element whatever you are writing that you are able to see in the active window okay so here what you see sir what you write is what you will get okay then others please first point please reply i request you to please kindly reply the things what we have discussed about the concept of web development a simple statement html and starting of html and how to display got an overall or not i don't say maybe i don't know how many of you have a basic idea or maybe totally new so at least if you could have get a basic idea that is really great and when we start our regular sessions we can plan a step by step and we can do the practical things step by step also so please take participation have any questions up the things what we have discussed kindly please come forward the session is going to be end in approximately 10 minutes how to handle video image and graphics yes for those also we have image element let me write here itself for you to get a basic idea okay for video we have video element whereas for image representation we have imd if you observe one more point sometimes we are opening and closing somewhere else sometimes we are opening and closing there itself that's called we can say two types of elements what are those block level and inline level block level meaning you are opening somewhere else and closing whereas in between that you are holding something content whereas inline you are writing there itself the content that's called will plan and if you observe i am just showing you the existing sessions how it's going on uh, okay any concept irrespective of any concept the way of discussions will be discussed clearly a step by step concept of course it's a javascript don't worry i'm just giving an overview okay will be discussed step by step will be discussed in notes maintaining also like the step by step so the notes the the sessions that will be recording and will be given an access to you and will be asking you to do some assignments from the beginning onwards at the same time we'll be planning to have some mock up uh, assessments and at the end of the sessions we'll be having even mock interviews also to get an idea how that you can attempt that interviews also so all these points will be included in the regular sessions okay so and uh, re required coding knowledge no 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 it's not required coding knowledge even though if you are a mechanical or electrical person for example you can just come up with the starting from scratch of html that's why we give preference especially first session here html concept later we will be enhancing to create an application development with a react or angular something which is high in demand what is the demand in market is that exactly let me say 100 percentage if there is no appearance there is no point of high-end code also that's what I, one of the statement i even given to you in one in a somewhere else here and there you are a great developer you know how to write a logic but you don't know how to display then how then the client is unable to understand what you have done right so irrespective of any website or an application first point front-end development second point server third point database i am going to even conduct one more session especially on client server architecture which includes what are the client concepts what are the server concepts what are the uh, what do you say 
database concepts, how you can become a full-fledged developer where you can start from scratch to end of your application on your own. And you not only planning to work with a client, you even able to work on your own as a freelancer also. In that manner, we will discuss. I will conduct one more session and I will be updating you in short, not exactly today or tomorrow. We'll come to that point and we'll be giving a clear picture what is a overview of web application development with the client server architecture. Okay. So with the front end development, you have a high in demand like React.js and Angular. Whereas in server, you can choose, there are different technologies like we can say Java or Python, or you can say Node.js, there are different sectors. Whereas databases, you have an option of, we can say MySQL or PostgreSQL or NoSQL, sorry, MongoDB, different, different things. This is just an overview for you to get an idea. That doesn't mean I'm not hurrying up you. You just have to get a clarity as you have a question. Okay, so hope you will be even a participant in upcoming connectivity sessions and where you can get a clear idea and we'll start our regular sessions once in a day. Okay, so any other questions, please come forward. I'm still waiting for your questions. Kindly, please. One point is, irrespective of any session, make sure that you are the proactive person who wants to know something else. Of course, you are really great and really happy to see you and taking participation the total one hour your valuable time you have spent here. I'm really thankful for all the members who have taken participation in this session. Okay, what is the main use of frameworks in the web development? Yes, a simple point I say, a simple example for your question. Using the notepad, comparing to Word, sorry, comparing to Word document, how do you see the difference? Here you don't have any option of highlighting. Here you don't have any option of man uh what you can say way of presentation right but whereas in the word of which you have presentations you have you can able to create a link you are able to create the things in the same way when it comes to the application development when you come to the concept of framework it helps you to reduce the lo loading time and makes much faster and faster in loading to the client at the same time the developer also no need to worry about the too much of code within the less and short code can able to develop that major applications and even complex applications okay clear i'm still waiting questions yes please Post your questions in the chatting. I'm ready to clear your doubts. Once again, I'm really happy to see a number of people join to take participation and giving boost up, especially to me. Okay. I'm really happy and thankful to all the members who took participation. Okay, right then. We are ending up the session. If you have any, any questions, you can just put up the session, sorry, question. Okay. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of the members, each and every member. I'm clearly saying, and even especially saying to all the members, one second and final statement for 
giving this great opportunity to me to have a word with you in discussing the concept of HTML. And in the same way, I will be planning the further sessions about the CSS and JavaScript like this step-by-step. -step. We'll discuss, we'll have a demo sessions, we'll have an induction sessions, take participation knowing something else clearly. And in the regular sessions, when you join, we'll practically start our discussions also. Okay. Thank you so much to each and every member. Right then, thank you so much and bye. Hello. Yes, Mr. Jay Chandra. Yeah. We are done with the session oh, and between I have got some calls, so I got disconnected. Oh no worries at all, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Once again, thank you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Right. Thank you so much, Jay Chandra, even to you and all the members. Yeah, yeah, Ramakrishna. Thank you so much. Right. Bye. Thank you, sir, for your valuable session.